second rope team meeting is going to follow the format that you'll be using for the rest of your rope team meetings for the next 13 weeks. So it's really important that you start on time. When you start on time, you, you, everyone knows it's consistent. It brings up the value of the group. So whether the leader is there or not, whether there's enough guys there, if there's just two guys, you start on time. And you always want to start with prayer, asking the Holy Spirit to come in so he can guide you as you're supporting each other and sharing. Uh, it just makes a huge difference. So always open up with prayer. Then you'll open up to the end of the week and you'll share your tracking progress. So every guy will have check marks filled out in there and each guy will just kind of show and, and briefly give an overview of his week, kind of talk about it. And then you'll go into the questions. Now at the bottom of that question, you've got some, or at the bottom of that page, you have some questions, share a highlight from the week, what is an exercise. And you wanna do one question at a time and then let every man in the circle answer the question. So each guy's gonna briefly share sort of what he did or, or what the experience that he had or something from the week for each question as you go around. That way it breaks it up and every man has a chance to share. Then you'll move over to the next page and there's a question that says, where did I slip? And each man will share kind of where he didn't feel like he was doing as good or maybe his struggles of the week. And a slip is a small lapse in progress, S-L-I-P. So when a guy slips, depending on the kind of guys in your group, some of the guys are gonna be perfectionists and they're gonna be beating themselves up and we need to give them grace and encourage them. Other guys are gonna be not very motivated and they're not gonna care if they slip and they're gonna need a little bit of motivation and encouragement to get on it. So be real sensitive to who you're dealing with as they're sharing their slips. Some guys are gonna need grace, other guys are gonna need a kick in the pants and say, hey, you can do better than this, let's go. Then they're gonna share their success strategy for the next week. Now the nice thing about a slip, and think about the metaphor of a mountain climb. If you're climbing a huge mountain and you slip and fall, you're not gonna quit and say, well, I guess I'm just not a mountaineer, I'm going home. No, you're gonna get back up and you're gonna keep going. And so when you slip, maybe you didn't exercise as much as you should have, or you slept in and you missed a whole day. What is your success strategy? How are you gonna get up and do better? What are you gonna do to fix the problem? That's what you're gonna share with your group. And this is a great time for the group to really um, share their wisdom and their experience. Some guys might have some great ideas on how to get up early or what to do with exercise or how to make it more fun or whatever you might be needing. And so this is where the group can really step up and support. And then the last question says, how can I support my rope team? Now this is a question you're gonna fill out in your rope team meeting. So the guys are gonna be going around the circle and you'll be jotting down notes on how you can help. And this is the secret to being a successful rope team. The more you focus on yourself and your improvement, uh, it, it shrinks your world. But as you open it up and start thinking about how you can help the four or five other guys on your team, it's really gonna help you go to the next level. But by helping them, it's gonna make everything better. You know, it, the Bible says God is love and love is an outward focused energy. And the more you can push your energy to helping the guys on your team, actually the more you're gonna improve. It's gonna be really cool. After that, you'll um, kind of go around the circle and um, you'll finish with a prayer. And as the group leader, you can decide how do you want to pray? Do you want to share some prayer requests or praises or whatever you want to do? Look at the time and um, just spend that time building the relationships. Now, the purpose of the rope team is to help you make it to the top. All of us have started out on projects and then quit because we just lost motivation. And the rope team, a group of guys who have the same values and the same goals, they're gonna help you maintain your momentum as you're doing the morning summit. So these rope team meetings, it's a time of encouragement, it's a time of support, and it's a time to build friends with, with some guys that, that you're gonna be able to count on as you move forward. And make sure you end uh, with a good prayer, and that's how you're gonna be doing your rope team meetings for the next 13 weeks. Thank you.